going on folks rick here back with another video and i'm here to do uh, an unboxing of the samsung galaxy grand prime i purchased this phone as a gift and um uh, this is more of the lower end of the spectrum i usually uh, do videos on flagship phones but uh, um being that i bought this as a gift i'm going to do a quick unboxing uh, for some people that may be looking at more of the lower end spectrum and some of the budget phones some some might call it even a food stamp phone but here we go with uh, unboxing of the galaxy grand prime so real quick i'm going to go through some of the specs before we unbox it uh, but like i said it was retail for 229 uh they had it on sale for 189 and then one day i found uh like a promo code where you could save an additional 40 bucks so i actually paid 150 dollars for this phone and to get the specs that you're getting on a 150 dollar phone you have to take that into um, into comparison with 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 what we're talking about for a hundred fifty dollars you're not going to get a phone with the specs that this have with some of the features that this has and you know for for those people that love Samsung and some of the features that it comes with uh, you can't beat it at this price point so real quick uh, it has a five inch display it has a two hundred twenty pixel per inch resolution uh, eight megapixel rear camera a five mega megapixel front facing selfie camera this phone was known as because it had a 5 megapixel front facing camera with a wide ang angle lens as a selfie camera for Samsung and that's what they were promoting this phone as uh, the chipset is a Qualcomm snap snapdragon 410 the processor is a quad core uh, 1200 megahertz processor uh, the graphic card is an Adreno 306 it comes with 8 gigabytes of internal storage but it does have micro USB expandability, which is huge. It's up to 64 gigabytes on this phone. So realistically, when this phone actually gets the uh, Marshmallow update, uh, it'll all be considered as internal storage, and you'll have you know $150 phone with over 64 gigabytes of storage, which is pretty cool. Uh, it does come with a 2600 milliamp battery, which is removable. So that's the cool thing about this is the Galaxy S6 had a, has a 2700 milliamp battery with a faster processor with a, a, a much higher screen resolution almost double than what this has so the battery life on this phone should be a lot better than the Galaxy S6 so that's something else to consider when you're buying a phone in this end of the spectrum um, and it also comes with an FM radio transmitter which is something I, I, I rarely see on Samsung devices so without further ado, let's get into it real quick. So like I said, there's not much in regards to presentation on uh, this end of the spectrum when you're paying uh, this price point. The box kind of came like crumpled and bent a little bit. Uh, it kind of, you know, killed the, the, the whole presentation for me. And you know what, for a lot of manufacturers, even though you're buying phones at the lower end of the price point, with something as simple as just packaging, if you just make it look really nice, fresh, and crisp, it may cost them an extra few pennies to do that. Uh, it adds a lot to, uh, you know, the quality of the phone or the quality of, of the manufacturer. Real quick, uh, it comes with the phone, obviously. SIM card, which is a micro USB SIM card, not a nano SIM. Battery and a charger, USB cable, quick start guide, and some other manuals. So, without further ado, let's open it. And like I said, at this price point, you're not going to get much in regards to presentation. You have the phone here just in a, like a loose plastic bag, plastic bag, but we'll file that to the side for a second. You have your micro USB SIM. Okay, you have your books and stuff. You have a, a charging brick. Um, let's see if this is fast charge enabled. Uh... I don't think it is, but it does have fast charge capability. So if you do have a fast charger, that's good. You have your micro USB cable, and this is your removable battery. I already inserted the battery in there in efforts to save some time. Let's file that to the side. Okay, so this is the phone. So real quick, um, what's posted right here on the plastic. Uh, like I said, it's promoted to be the best selfie camera that was out there at the time or even at this price point with a 5 megapixel front facing camera. It has a quad core processor and a 5 inch display. So real quick, let's go through some of the hardware features of this. You have your, uh, your capacitive buttons right here. 
you have your multi uh, multitasking button, your home button, and your back button right here. You have your 5 megapixel camera right here on the front with some additional sensors. On the right side, you have your volume. I'm sorry, on the right side, you have your power button. On the bottom, you have your um, micro USB port uh, microphone. On the left side, you have your volume rockers. And up top, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with a microphone. Uh, I really don't like the fact that the um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is on the f on the top of the device. I usually prefer to be on the bottom, but like I said, you kind of get what you pay for at this price point, so it is what it is. On the back, you have an LED flash. Uh, it's a it's a single LED flash right here, eight megapixel camera, and your speaker grill. So let's uh, open this bad boy up. Uh, this edge right here, it is not an aluminum edge, even though it's painted to look like one. And like I said, I already placed the battery in there. So this is a 2600 milliamp removable battery. Right here, you have your micro USB and your SIM, uh, your SIM card tray and in the, in the same housing. Uh, and here's your speaker. Okay, so let's put this case back on. We hear everything snap into place, which we do. All right, let's wait for it. Let's pull this off. Okay, love that sound. All right, let's do the first boot up. Okay, and like I said, with with with, with this price point, you really can't go wrong. You have the fast charging features on here that you have on a lot of the higher end phones. You have a five megapixel front facing selfie camera, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, the back camera, eight megapixels. I'll, I say this phone is comparable to an S4. Not quite an S5, but with the features and the things that it can do, it's comparable to an S4 with the added features of a newer processor, uh, a five megapixel camera on the front as opposed to a two, and fast charging. Uh, with that being said, I think this is a really good phone for this price point. You're probably one of the best phones at this price point. So I'm going to go through the quick, uh, quick start uh, menu right here real fast. I'm going to pause it real quick and then uh, I'll show you guys what the phone looks like after that. All right, guys. So this is the phone and, uh, I, I just skipped through all the steps real quick just to show you guys what the phone looks like. So again, one of the added benefits of buying a lower end newer smartphone as opposed to a higher end older phone that might be a little bit more expensive or at the same price point is that you have the latest updates you have the latest updates of android and you have some of the latest features uh of touch be it that it, be it that it may some people may not like touch Wiz, but some people may love it so if you do like touch Wiz and you're in the market for something you know cheaper you have a lot of the features like the s6 has like you have a like the the ultra power saving mode, um, the flashlight, and a lot of things like that that you might not have on an S4 or an S3. You know, um, real quick, seems to be zipping through pages fairly quickly. You do have a little bit of bloatware on there from T-Mobile, but you you would get that on any carrier. So anyway, this has been a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. Uh, if you guys have any questions in regards to this phone, please leave it in the comment section below. Please give me a thumbs up on this video and continue to subscribe. There's a lot more coming to the channel and I appreciate every one of you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.